to YouTube, it's your boy Dan, back at a gun another video, man, and this is the actual thing today, y'all boys, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to defeat Gato over here, man, he is a really, really hard boss to defeat, I feel like, but if you do defeat him, he gives a guaranteed module spawn, he gives you 3 plus levels, and he also gives you around 42 to 50k, Depending on how fast you beat him and how many times you die while you beat him. So in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat him. Right? But before we get into this video, there is a couple things you're going to need. So I'm going to show y'all what you need. Okay, you guys. So now I'm going to be showing y'all a few more steps you need to do before you actually beat Gato. Or get into a fight with him or whatever. So... Right now, as you see, I am at Midlands because I use my shrine here. So what you guys want to do, wherever you are, you're going to want to find a shrine, teleport shrine. You're going to go to it, and then it'll tell you, would you like to use uh, the shrine to teleport? Cost 100 yen, which is really cheap. You're going to click use, and you're going to go to Midlands. As you see, I'm already here, so I don't need to do that. But, um, yeah. So now, what you guys want to do, once you guys are in Midland, you're going to want to... You're gonna spawn pretty much like this. So what you guys want to do is jump on top of the shrine And then you guys don't want to go here and you'll find Gato just chilling over here So now what you guys want to do in front of Gato, there'll be this town called Midori Town So you guys want to head over here to Midori Town and then you guys are gonna find Ayami and once you guys find him You are gonna set your spawn in Midori Town. Now I've already done that so I need to do that But you're gonna set your spawn here this is important because whenever you die, you'll be close to Gato so you can, you know, go damage him so he doesn't regenerate all his health. So now I'm going to show you guys two more things that you need before we get started. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. So, there's two things you're going to need. The number one thing is you can either use a OP sword like I have here. Or an OP curse, like I have here. I have curse flames for my sword. Uh, I mean, curse flames for my ability. And I have death's harbinger for my sword. Now, you can't just get these swords and expect to do a lot of damage. You have to put stats on them. So, if you open my menu here and go to stats, as you see, I have 661 on weapon and 377 on curse. So, I do do a lot of damage with both. So... Those are the two things you're going to need. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually defeat him. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to actually defeat him. So where you're going to want to go is after you have done your spawn and got your weapons and stuff like that, you're going to want to head over to him. He's just going to be sitting in that area. So now first, what you're going to want to do is trigger him any way possible. So... Whenever you do trigger him, just be warned, he will hit you with an OP ability, so just watch. I told you guys, he's gonna hit me with an OP ability. Now, fortunately, I did block it, so he didn't really hit me with it. What next step is to drag him over to this little rock right here. Once you guys drag him over to this little rock, he's gonna be cheesed. A cheese in this game is pretty much so they can't really M1 you. Now, they can still use... Their abilities, their curse abilities, depending on if they have a curse ability, which every single boss in this game, I think, has a curse ability. So, you're going to want to be careful of their curse abilities, but this is a really good way to defeat him. What you're going to want to do is be very, very, very careful of his, like, curse abilities, because they do a lot of damage. But, if you have a, a really OP, like, melee weapon like I do... For my sword, it, it does like 35 damage per hit. So what I need to do is just spam him. Or I can just spam my ability, which isn't really that fun for me. And I just feel like my um, sword does do more damage. So I'm going to abuse my sword here. All we need to do is drag him to that little wall. And the moment we do drag him to the little wall, you just want to start hitting him. Now, be warned. The moment... You start fighting him, you're not just going to take a chunk of his HP every time you hit him. He's a really hard boss to defeat, but if you do defeat him, he gives you three guaranteed modules. And on top of the three guaranteed modules, he also does give you um 
no, he doesn't give you three modules, sorry. He gives you three levels and one guaranteed module. And he also does give you a 42 to 50k yen, which could be a really good money grinding method. Now, what I do advise you guys is try not to get mad at the game, because if you're literally like a low level who doesn't really have much skill in this game, you could die a lot. So the most really important thing is try not to get like annoyed at the game and try to still be calm. Don't, like, every time you die, don't get pissed instantly, because what's going to happen is, if you do get pissed instantly, the main thing that's just going to happen is, like, when, whenever you do get pissed, um, you're just going to not want to play the game anymore. For some people, whenever they get pissed, they want to play the game more somehow. But for me, if I get pissed at any game, actually, yeah, I just died right here. What I'd have to do is, the moment I spawn in, so just wait for me to spawn in, the moment I spawn in, I just go back instead of getting mad. Because I have already snatched a very, very high chunk of his um, health. So all I have to do is just keep hitting him. As you see, he is pretty low for me right now because I did a lot of damage to him. But as I was saying, the moment he hits you with any of his abilities or it looks like he's going to use an ability, just block. Like, he, he like that. Even though this ability that he has right now, the one that, um, the dragon one, even though it does an insane amount of uh, damage to me, if you block it, it still gets, like, a decent amount of um, damage off of you. So, it's pretty good. Right? So, now what I'm going to do is just keep damaging him. Just, it's, it's really easy if you have, like, a friend. If you have a friend, this is really, really easy, actually. But if you don't have a friend... Then you could just solo him like this, like I'm doing. It is pretty easy. Whenever he goes to the backside, just lure him to the front because he doesn't get glitched um, in the front for some reason. Whenever he goes to the backside, he doesn't get glitched. So you just bring him back to the front side and keep hitting him. But as I was saying, it is a pretty OP like thing. To this glitch is pretty OP because he can't actually M1 you. He can only use his abilities like this. Oh my god, he keeps using the same ability, which is doing really, like, good damage. But, it's pretty easy to kill him, man. Like, I remember, I used to be, like, a low level in this game. And I would get a new ability, I would come to him, I would try to test it out, and then he would just absolutely beat me up. But, like, I just found this out, too. So, I give you guys everything, man. I literally just found this out. The moment I found this out, I come to YouTube, try to post it, man. But, as I said, this is really easy to do, so just try not to get pissed at the game, and, um, yeah, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna defeat him now. As you see, guys, I died again, but all I have to do is just go back because I got his health really low. So all I have to do is go back, and when I do kill him, I'll show you guys that you do get a guaranteed module. You get one module guaranteed, and you get three levels also. So that is also something that you guys have to look out for, that warm ability that he does. You see, guys, I got 49k out of that, and I got three levels out of that. So, it is very, very, very OP. I already have killed him, like, three times. So, if you guys don't know um, a way to, like, um, keep killing him, I just showed you guys. That's how you kill him, but that's how you kill him solo. If you have a friend, this could be much easier. Just jump the dude. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much how you kill him, and if you guys are wondering, okay, well, I just killed him now, is he gonna spawn in again, can I, like, kill him again the moment he spawns in? Well, no, because he only spawns in at certain amounts of time, so what you're gonna wanna do is just back out of Roblox, go onto a different server, and, like, you're gonna wanna back out of Kazin, go onto a different server, hope that he's there, and if he's there, just kill him. So, that is generally the most easiest way I could think of to kill this dude. But, um, yeah, man, if you guys want more Cosm videos, more Hoop Nation videos and stuff like that, just comment down below. But, um, yeah, I'm going to see y'all later. Enjoy getting money and grinding.